What's happening everyone? Game for Life here and welcome back to Fortnite. Fortnite Mirror is officially over. We do have some new tabs and we got a new f uh, crew pack right here, which I'm um, not sure if I'm getting it right now, but uh, I think I should be getting it. I mean, I'm not part of the crew, but usually if you cancel it when you already receive another one, you usually get the second one for free. The only thing I'm not going to get is just the, the V-Bucks and the uh, Battle Pass. I mean, it's kind of dumb that you get the Battle Pass. They should make it like you get next season's Battle Pass, what they should do. But sadly, they don't do it like that. I think Fortnite should reconsider doing that. And we got three um, uh, bonus uh, uh, skins that are in the item shop now. Like, I'm saying bonus because these ones didn't even come out. They were in the files. We didn't even know what they were. I mean, we kind of speculated... Um, three Star Wars skins before because I I found in the files that there was three. Same with other other leakers as well. Do I always look in the files too just to make sure if anyone missed anything that's a leaker. It's kind of like me sometimes I miss certain things. But anyways, Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, and Princess Leia's are all in the item shop. R two D two is not a free back bling, but it it is in I think for Luke Skywalker. Like, if you buy the skin, it'll come with that. So, it says, it all starts with Skywalker and or Organa and a Solo inspired the galaxy with the original trilogy set. So, it looks like this might actually be a set, but I think you can buy it separately. We'll take a look there. And we got Skywalker Week right here. And Dark Vader has returned on the island. So, as of right now, if you guys update your game... We didn't even go in the lobby yet. The lobby has completely changed right back to normal. It's not like Four Nightmares um, lobby anymore. So, mission accomplished is what defines a successful rebellion. Complete Skywalker quest to earn additional XP, weld a lightsaber, and more as Dark Side returns. So, there are blue, green, and red lightsabers on the island because Dark Vader NPC has returned. The Junk Rifts have been ambled, and that's how... They're able to come back in here, and this is really cool, you guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and probably show you guys how to get the Pickle Rick, but I'm probably going to do that for a different video. I'll still try to get something done, see how it goes, but here it is right here. It says watch video. We're going to hit play, and I'm going to meet my comment. Oh, by the way, Pickle Rick is reactive from what I'm being told, too. So, keep in mind that. That's pretty cool. So, if I ever get him unlocked, which hopefully I do, I will actually put him on the Rick skin. So, that was pretty cool. We're going to back out here. Okay, this is what doesn't make sense to me, guys. Well, actually, it kind of does because some people were able to get it early like me. I was actually able to get it early. Some other ones were supposed to get it. The last day, which was the 31st, I believe. I'm not sure. It might have been the 30th or 31st. But I got mine the 29th, I believe. So, I guess it this redid it, so. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. So, again, the Inquisitor is now a crew pack now. So, you guys can actually get it. It's uh, 11 .99. I'm not sure how good it is. Like, I don't know if I'll actually get it. But, um, I don't know. They should have made the Inquisitor to have the face off. But again, I think it's just, like, the mask itself. Like, it doesn't have a face. I mean, we can see in there. It looks like a squid. The eye's really cool. I'm not sure if that's reactive. But it just reminds you of something from Doctor Strange, if you ask me. So that's a really good skin. Well, actually not a skin, back bling. It's blinks. I feel like that would go good with the the hand skin. Give which one which one that one is. The all CNI and I or something like that. This loading screen looks nice. It's like really creepy Halloween-y like. 
That's weird. I thought I would be able to get it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go into the Horde Rest Zero build in a minute, but I'm still not done showing you guys all what we have here. So again, a lot of people been asking. You guys are gonna be really happy about this Chrome Punk eight weeks. I know you guys are gonna be like, oh, but my account level is like higher like mine. That still doesn't mean you can't get it. You just gotta level up your you're not your levels. Okay. Let me show you guys so I don't confuse any of you guys. So you see account level right here is at 2750. I actually need 50 level ups on that account level just to get all five of those rewards for free. And it's gonna be carrying over to next season. So I wouldn't sweat it, you guys. And not to mention this season's not even over. So we can actually start grinding XP. I know it's not gonna do much, but I mean it will do much when you do XP because you got 50, uh, 50k XP, 20k XP, but the account level goes up by XP, I believe. I think that's how it is, but let me know in comments down below of what you guys think, because I think that's how it works for the account level, how it goes up. But a lot of people, a lot of people can get a season done with their account level to be 3,000 and something, something right there. So, I mean, I was one of them. I either got like... 2,000 and something or I got like 4,000 I remember or 5,000 so it's not too difficult to get it might be a little bit but again it will carry over to next season so you guys won't have to sweat it okay now before this disappears an item shop um, I want to see if they still have they should have it here still it's called the monster mash emote all right so these our sets here. R2D2 is in the Han Solo and Princess Leia set. 2,500 V-Bucks for this. So, again, that's pretty cool that they added R2D2, but I'm probably not going to be able to get it. I'll probably, I'll probably be able to get it on Star Wars Day, so that's probably why. I mean, she has, like, these styles here. Look at that. So she can't wear any other cape besides this. She can wear a back bling, but no capes. Only this cape right here. Alright, let's look at the Halloween stuff because... Yeah, the, all, the Sinister Glare, that's what it was called. I called it the all Sienna. Monster Mash right here. I better get it before I can't get it anymore. Because, you know, Halloween ends... It was a graveyard smash to Monster Mash. Oh, yeah. Alright. Yikes. He bunks went down a bit. Are we good? Um, I'm so glad I got that. There's really not much stuff that I liked. Like, I was expecting more Halloween y stuff, you know? I don't think that the the skin was the Remy skin was even like a Halloween skin, in my opinion. I mean, sorta in in a way, but it just doesn't feel like it, you know. This one definitely feels like a Halloween skin. Uh, Bonjamin, Jacko Assassin. But again, I I'm talking about like skins like this. She's Sinister Glare, Undying Sorrow, and Bonjamin. And Ashy Slashy, a.k.a. Ash Williams. And by the way, I would recommend you guys to buy this right here. Because this skin right here, the, the Raskin, I don't even think he'll it, he'll come back out. Like, like it's, he's a rare skin to come back out, so I recommend you guys get him while you still can. So they brought these out in Cor Gord Gordy. Uh, back bling. Anyways. We'll take a look at here. So. It has reverted back to normal. And. We get a free. Um, we get a free uh, emote for going into this cup here. I believe it is a solo cup. And I think it will be a uh, zero. Zero cup as well. But I'll go in detail on that in a different video for you guys. Here is the Herald. Is here the Herald is here and sure 
Chayos and close the curtains on reality with the Herald. Battle Pass owners can complete quests now to unlock the Herald alternated styles and more. Alright, so if you guys see that new Herald style right there, that one is actually on page 2. So I think you can actually get all these done today. I know page 1 you can fully get today. But uh, we're going to get to that. Okay. Wow, I wish you... Oh, you can't expect... You can't expect items. Okay. So, this is what uh, cyber, uh, Chrome Punk looks like. I said Cyberpunk, dude. Almost. <laughs> but this loading screen looks really cool. I like that. 1% free, guys. 100% free. And looks like this might... Oh, no, it's not. It just... It's reactive. My question is, how is it reactive? What well, is it? It looks like it gets bigger. Hmm. Okay, it separates and then it goes together. I think that might be how it's reactive, but might be a little bit more reactiveness to it. I don't know. Live in metal set. That's what it's called for this one. And this one is carving corpse set. Carving corpse set. So this is part of the set here. So again, you guys, everyone should be able to have this just in time. So they're doing it. I know it says eight weeks, but don't sweat it. They it, it was on Fortnite's uh, fault there. So um, yeah. I don't know anyone that has already got it yet because you know, the leveling up system so far this season was like super fast, and there is probably a reason for it. It's this right here. So we should have got this for October, you know, or yeah. I feel like we should have got it for October, the start of October, but, you know, we got more time. Next season is going to carry out to next season for this. Okay, the Herald skin. Oh, we didn't even talk about the Horde Rush yet, but we'll get there in a minute. So, we got the banner, the Herald's banner, the spray. So, you need 10 eliminations for that. Uh, damage, 500 damage to opponents while chromified. And you got the night structures. That one shouldn't be too hard. I actually know a good spot. One of my good friends on Fortnite actually told me a good spot how to get that challenge done. So, shout out to him. Hey, this looks new. Okay, I think I get what this is. So, there's a one of those blimp things. I don't know what they're exactly called. But that thing just moved from over here. I think that's what that was. But I'm also looking at it too. It looks a lot different from last um, yesterday since we went in Fortnite. Because the map is actually updating. If you guys haven't noticed, Chrome is moving everywhere. There's Chrome here. There's Chrome here. Chrome here. Chrome here. And it's even getting over here too. Chrome here. And it's slowly making its way up here. Eventually it's going to be... Yeah, it's over here too. Literally, it's going to cover the entire map by the time the season ends. And I have a speculation when that could be. So, Fortnite Fortnite goes into their new season in December because that's when the new season starts. So, I'm thinking around this month at some point, the, the whole map's going to eventually start getting chromed up fully at some point, November. Because once it gets towards the end of the months here, for November and happy November 1st you guys I forgot to say, say that and let me know what you guys did for Halloween yesterday did you get good candy I actually went to a Halloween party and I went with my little nephew and and friends going trick-or-treating I only got like some candy but I got a lot because I had a Halloween party so I just took I trick-or-treated my own house basically all right so here are the Star Wars quests here you get XP again Again, I know there's no rewards for this, but you will get the XP here. It's 20k XP. Nothing could go wrong with free XP because it's counting towards the Chrome Punks challenges. All these free... Oh, I didn't even do the... I'm glad I didn't do the week 5 ones. Week 6 and week 7. Week 7 hasn't opened up yet. So I got 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think they go up to 13... 13 weeks or 12 weeks. So, 7, 8, 9. So, I think I got like 9 weeks I can do for XP. 
which is good for me. And then, again, I almost got all these done, which I don't know how the heck I got almost these. It's like halfway. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, I think it's just ten. No. No, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, it's eleven. Eleven stages of these, and I haven't finished twenty of them yet. These are all done. Bites is all done. Hopefully you guys got that in time. And the dailies are going to be going up pretty soon because I have those to do. Um, Horde Rush. Okay. How do you get the free Pickle Rick skin, you guys? How do you get that? Well, I'll go into detail right now. It says complete Horde Rush quest to earn rewards. Now, this is going to be a little time consuming. This is not going to be going... To next season you actually have to get this done with the week in six days to get this done so it means you have to play a lot of rounds keep the grind going glad i got my battle pass done in time all i got to worry about is do that and then get the herald skins done the quest for that and i will be able to just finish up the the last one week of this so you need eight quests how many quests do we have here let's take a look so i only need eight this one Collect score multipliers, 20. Hopefully that's not too bad. That sounds a little easy. This one looks a little too easy too. Deal melee damage. Wait, melee damage to cube monster prawners. Okay, I'm not sure what that is. But I'll probably figure that out. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, there's 9 of them. So there's one extra one here. If you can't do the other one. So open chest. 45 chests. That shouldn't be too bad. I think I get that done at least like two two days. One or two days I get that one done. Get headshots. That one's easy. So that's two I can probably do. So one, two, three, four. This one's going to be a little tricky. Uh, earn a 50 KO streak. One, two, three, four. Okay, earn a team score of three uh, three hundred and fifty thousand. Earn oh, I remember I did this one. This one was like really challenging. Okay, so I'm actually gonna hop in a game right now in Horde Rush. See if we can get that, you guys, because I just really want that pickle Rick. You know, I got I got Rick from Rick and Morty. I got Morty. I got Mr. Meeses. But why don't I have pickle Rick? They missed the opportunity to make a Pickle Rick skin, but at least we got a Pickle Rick for a back playing if we could get that. Now, I did struggle last Four Nightmares, and I actually ended up getting the the zombie. I don't know what it's. It's like a Mel Shake or a drink. It's, it's reactive. Okay. I think I missed something. Yeah, the we got to go in the Battle Pass menu. All right. So we got a lot of good goodies that happened this update here. So I'm really happy. Okay, free rewards. Not that one. It's uh, bonus rewards. All right. So in the files, uh, apparently this was like glitched out, but not anymore. This is actually in game now. So it's reactive. I don't know. What... <gasps> Ooh, I love that color on that. It looks nice how it's illuminating like that. All right. So it's called the Herol... Herolit? Heraldic. Her heraldic. Oh, I can't say it right, you guys. Herald. <sighs> Sounds weird. Okay, I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Okay, so you can actually unlock both pages today. I thought it was just the one. You can unlock both now. Okay? So I'm not sure. Okay, it's not going to say what you need to unlock these ones until you get them done. So. Complete three challenges, a night structures. Yeah, I think I read these ones off. So they're not actually going to pop up until you finish page one, page two. Those will be separate videos. So I'll do page one and page two for a separate video. Alright, so she has... Well, I love how it looks like she has flames there. It's blooming. See the swing? Ooh. It kind of looks like a flute from the top, don't don't it? 
There was a spray. The Herald's Lure. And we got the Fading Amber Cloak. Wait, so it fades? What? It... Guys, I don't know which one I like better. I mean, I like the Herald skin. But, like, when I look at this, that looks pretty good, too. I think, I think this is the best update out of Fort Nightmares. Like, more... Actually, not Fort Nightmares. Because Fort Nightmares is already done. Ooh, it plays it. It plays her music, too. So, I found some textures. There's, there's like, five different, like, chapters. I mean, not chapters. Five different worlds of Fortnite that I found, which I didn't even include. I'll probably include in page one or page two video. Show you guys. So, and there, that's the realities that she was watching. The nothing is happening loading screen. Nice. I actually thought this was going to open up in three days, but I guess November 1st. So again, December 3rd is when the, the season ends. We go into another season. The GG uh, Chrome. Congratulations. I like how it's like Chrome. I actually love everything Chrome this season. I, don't, I, I was like ah, starting to get old, but you know what? It's actually pretty cool, you know? This is really cool too. I mean, I bet she... She could be secretly reactive to me. I don't know if people are going to call it secretly reactive, but I think it, it, it would be reactive to me because if you go into like a dark area, I, I feel like she would like glow and, like a flashlight, you know? I mean, glowing to see your way, I feel like that that's a way of being reactive, but I guess in my opinion, I don't know if people are going to see it that way, but. That's my opinion, guys. Don't hate on me on that. So I'm sorry. All right. Let's put Ashy Slashy on, huh? Let's do that. We'll hop into a Horde Rush game. All right. Horde Rush. Okay. I should just use the tab here. But the tab is no longer there. It's what I hate about Fortnite sometimes. They just mess it up. I'm going to put down my favorite so I don't lose it. And we are going to play it. I don't know how many people. I don't know how many people will be able to play with. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get my buddy the scorpion. I'm gonna ask. All right. Hey, the scorpion. So I was wondering if you want to do the horde rush. We can try to get that free back bling for the Rick and Morty. It's uh, the, the pickle Rick back bling. I'm gonna I'm gonna hop in it right now. So um, if you want to join, you can join up. All right. Um, I don't know if he's if he can hear me or not. Sometimes he can't hear me. All right, we're gonna put that on right now. Okay, I don't, I don't remember how to play this. Can I read this here? Okay, it's a squad. Okay, that's good. Zero build. Haven't played zero build before. So this is crazy. Let's do this. I'll see you guys.
forgot my uh, thing was muted. So, if you guys remember from last last year, we had to collect all these like crystals that give you the multipliers. So, gotta look for them. I think they just start spawning in. I need to get a weapon. to open like chess I don't see no chest around yet oh I guess I opened one out of 45 Over. Oh, shoot. It's moving. Wait, it spawned in yet? Saying that we have to survive. Oh, there it is. One. We got two. I think two more just spawned in. You gotta get headshots. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Got a clinger here. Okay, we gotta get more of these. I think there's like 12 of them. Can't believe this one's in a storm. A little bit in a storm. Oh my. We got four crystals. That's good. I think I actually like the zero build more better than the building. 
Horde Rush. Round one complete. CR. Okay. I think the headshot one is going to go down pretty good. Almost got the 50 streak one. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you for watching.